Hey everyone, so in today's tutorial I will show you how to effectively use Execute window along with your playbacks and just using some of the buttons uh, on the playbacks that you may not be always using. So what I'm talking about is this. So I will show you how to use the Execute window and uh, use some of the playbacks from there and activate them using the, the buttons Go and Pose on my playbacks. Again, if you don't if you didn't understand what I mean, I'll show you what I'm trying to achieve. So I have a playback, say this playback. I've got spots running, uh, the, uh, the position, colors, and dimming. And what I'm trying to do is I'm I will try to do uh, following. I will try to make a playback that will be running an effect on them, and at the same time. I will be activating it from my go button here and then on the next playback I will have an a strobe uh, 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 say a strobe um, running across the fixtures and that will be running as a flash button on my go uh, on my pause button of the playback how can I do this again this been asked several times and and me and some other people have been suggesting to use this method, but I think not everyone get it how to do it. So today I'll show you how to. So basically this is what we're going to do. Uh, we have, um, if you open the execute window, if you don't know how to use it, uh, I will show you just the basic simple principles of it. So if you're on page one, and, and this feature currently works only on a page one, and this is currently occupied, occupied either copy all the details from here to another page or if you just want to quickly uh, delete it just press set grid size press 0 slash 0 and press enter and that will be the grid is going to be deleted then after that what you do is you click on the set grid size and set it as 10 by 10 slash 2 and press enter why 10 by, uh, 10 by 2 because what I want to do is I want to map these executes, these 20 executes, on my those 20 buttons here. I'm talking about 10 playbacks with the two buttons, so go and pose, and I will be basically mapping this go is going to be that button, the pose uh, is going to be this button, so they will be mapped. This feature, again, I repeat, only supported by the page one of the execute window. And this is how you do it. So, okay, let's do basic example. I raise the playback, you can see the spots are positioned at us, etc. And then I'll select my group of lights, the same that's used here. I'll press add effect, position, and I'll press pan. So you can see the pan effect starts running. I will increase the size of the, of the effect, just make it bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the direction to be going center in. So this is how simple it can be done. So I'm happy about this. And what I need to do next is following. So I press the execute window and basically I'm trying to patch, uh, I'm trying to save it as this playback because that's corresponds to the third playback here. I press record and I click here. So I've recorded it now. I can press clear. So it all goes back. So the next thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a, a a strobe effect. So what I'm going to do is I'll select the same lights. While the lights are still on here, I go to the beam and I use the encoder A to to mimic some uh, strobe lights. So th let's say this is what I want to do and I want to assign it like a flash button on the executor. So I go back to the executor window, I press record and I click here. So then I can press clear. So now this memory is running the playback, uh, the effect, pan effect, and this one is doing the strobing. So what I want is, I want this to be toggle on and on, on and off. And this is called, the type is called button, which is fine. But this one, so if I use the, uh, the arrows and I go to that one, so I select this playback, and I need to change the action to be not faded, not button, but to be a flash. So now, if I click on this, it will only activate while I hold the button. As soon as I let it go, it goes off. So now we made all the settings as we wanted, and we can just combine them. But now we need to map them onto these two buttons. So how to do it? So if you triple click on your playback, it brings these options. You go to the button, buttons, 
and here it says go uh, uses execute grid one you double click and make it yes and pose uses execute grid one and make it yes so you can see it says tells you this is the executor 3 execute 13 but let's give it a name so we press set here we're gonna say uh, pan fx and this is going to be called trope so now you see it comes with the names and it comes with the numbers just to remind you where it's taking the information from. Now you can run your show and then you want to run an effect, you click the button, you want to quickly strobe the lights, strobing, let it go, it stops, strobing, let it go, it stops. And you can do the same things for the remaining 10 playbacks you have, nine remaining playbacks you have. Again, this works on uh, one page and and uh, from the execute window it only works uh, on the first page of the execute. Currently this is the this is how we have we set it up. And yeah, uh, I normally use just the first page and then I map it so it, it perfectly works for me for my lighting show and sometimes when I'm using a media server uh, while controlling everything from the magic queue again hope it was useful for you thank you very much for joining us today again feel free to share this video with with the other people and let them know what the campuses can do and again just a little reminder that's been added the, the feature that's been added a few uh, a few months ago if you want to run uh, multiple pages so same fader across like two pages etc you have an option here in the setup and the uh, playback and it's called playback holdover mode you double click it and make two page holdover when you do this you will be able to change the page for example run this playback change the page and run another playback on another page cool hope it was useful and thank you bye bye